Let's start here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 5, Articulation Flow. In today's episode, we reflected that since last time we watched even more music videos, we feel like we've been a bit slapdash putting together the latest snippets. Then we recalled we have quite a few new tools in our compositional toolbox, including using the full note and full chord function notation. So our ideas today were to add those full labels and then further compose with what we're calling snippet five. What we mean by the full notation is this. This is our energy model for types of notes, which we talk about a lot, roots and modes and centers and urgy notes, which are the lead roots and tail centers. The types of chords, we've talked about tonic, which is a rest and ambivalent, which is a rest and a urge, kind of a clashy energy. And then in this series, we're running into the use of subdominance, which they have no mode and no active note. For example, it could be a pure root and a pure neutral. And there's no no clashy, but there's also no, no anchor to the modality. So it floats. And then if you put subdominance into cadence or, or sequence of chords, like a subdominant to a tonic or a tonic to a subdominant, anything to a subdominant, you get floaty energy versus rest energy versus urge energy versus clash energy. And that, so what we did is we went back to this from the last stream and we started labeling down here, especially in our backbone, we started labeling, okay, that's a mode, that's a mode that has no function, that has no function, that's a neutral note, and that's a no function, and so forth. So we went and, and did that. The second thing we did is we started swapping um, these chords. Well, actually, we swapped the whole column, left and right, to get a better feel, feeling, sounding uh, energy. And then after that, we went back and said, well, what, what are we doing for cadences? And that's when we started realizing um, we have an energy store in here. We're going from a a rest energy to a drifting energy. We're going from a, a resting energy to a drifting energy, all in line one. But when we get to line two, we're going from the resting to a solid resting, and then we're going from a resting to a, uh, a landing on a resting energy. So we figured all that out. Let us show what we have to do next time. Um, we, we, we finished adding the full note labels, as we said, resequencing. We added a new thing we're calling the polyphon line, polyphonic line, which was kind of inspired by watching one of our videos. So basically the, the polyphon line is another kind of backbone. Uh, but in this case, we were deliberately using it to, especially down here, to get the mode in there. We weren't using any mode on our backbone. No mode. It's all urge neutral and none. So this allowed us to get some backbone in there. And the backbone is what distinguishes line one from line two because line one is mostly minor and line two is mostly major. So, so we did all that. Then we went ahead and added the new the raga theme and the site theme and began some new harmonies for them. So our ideas for next time are to complete the new harmonies and add, uh, go back to the fourth snippet, which was the shadow scale. And now that we've thought about adding polyphonic lines, we need to add those to the snippet 04. Uh, we also want to add, um, add a shimmer drone to snippet 05 as part of completing it. And then after we get that, we'll get around to the 2552 scale. We also have an idea to add another line of melody 
using the cadences and, and other ideas all the way from there. So what we're going to do is kind of wrap up by playing snippet five as it currently exists, which is about probably two thirds complete. So we feel that this is approaching standalone status and iterating between the two snippets is giving us more ideas, more things to add, more feel, and getting our theory back in there and remembering to look at the design from a theory point of view helps a lot too. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, interest, and patience. Tune in to our next episode, please. We look forward to seeing you there. And as always, keep on streaming.